è la figlia perché qui è la figlia della figlia la vedrai assomiglia a lui ah! va bene all right so excuse me but I was of course curious to see the system working yes yes um, have you already seen it I will soon Well, thank you very much. I know you're very busy and I appreciate your time to come here and talk with me about the experiment and the research. Um, uh, I, um, I tried to learn a little bit about your background. I know, I know you were a physicist, but I don't know, is it a, a nuclear physicist? The, the label says nuclear and subnuclear physics. Uh, I have worked in high energy physics and uh, for some time also, in the, the, what, what was the Zeus experiment years ago on Daisy accelerator, and then uh, we built in Bologna part of the AMS satellite, okay. antimatter alpha magnetic spectrometer, spectrometer, and then I have done other works in, uh, I would say, informatics, scientific. Uh, Parallelizing uh, algorithms for uh, scientific uh, calculus and uh, reconstruction of tomographic data. Now, um, before you started working with uh, Rossi, um, had you had any uh, experience with either what you call maybe cold fusion or LENR? Well, uh, I have known Professor Focardi from a long time and I have uh, collaborated with him in another experiment. Was, uh, uh, measurement of uh, gravitational constant uh, G mm. and uh, I was of course knowing about uh, uh, his experiments with uh, nickel but I was seeing that the, they were, the results were intriguing and interesting but very with very very small uh, energy produced from about three years we were uh, knowing from professor Focardi that uh, these experiments with uh, Rossi were going on. So we started f following these activities first with, as an external observer. I mean, we were just hearing what Professor Focardi was telling us. Um, and we were really, we were really amazed. And this was three years ago? Uh, from three years ago, uh, going on with uh, results uh, with, uh, reporting more and more energy produced. Okay. Then I have had the occasion the, the, to see the actual reactor uh, or ECAT on first on December 15. 14 or 15? Uh, 16. Yeah. 16. Okay. okay. Uh, 2010. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I was uh, uh, really amazed by this. You know, if you, you have to measure a few watts, this, you, you can make some mistakes. But when uh, you have kilowatts, it, it would be very, very difficult uh, to make a mistake. We are in, in this phase, we were uh, really interested on order of magnitudes, not making a real precision. A precise measure. Yeah. So, when you know that you are putting in about one and you are getting out about ten or more, right. you already know that the system is working. I, I was understand. quite sure on what that uh, on what we were putting in because we have done a global measurement of energy. Uh, I mean, electrical power in, in, uh, that were, was going in the experiment, and then we were making a measurement of calorimetric uh, energy produced. So, um, remembering back on December 16th last year, um, that was your first time that you saw the ECAT. Um, what happened to you at that time that you said, I want to see this? Actually, you, 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 you went to test it. What inspired you? 
I mean, there were many uh, signs, coordinated signs, that were all pointing in, a, in the same direction. There were first the result of Focardi, uh, with very a small amount of energy produced, but uh, I mean, they were reported in a I would say in a professional way, in a good way. So why not to trust them, these results? And also I have collaborated with Focardi in a, another experiment, much more standard. And so I was knowing him as a really good physicist and a good. So I was asking myself why this professor should cheat in uh, regarding. Hold on, we're going to have to, that noise isn't going to work. I mean, what, you know, uh, I am also, uh, okay, I, I haven't taken it, it here, but I am also uh, a member of the U.S. Skeptic Society. Really? Yeah. Okay, you, you just pay something and you, you are a member. I mean, you're, it's not a, a title, but, and uh, there is a publication that, the balloon detection kit. And in the, that balloon detection kit, there are many steps uh, to, to check. And behavior of Rousseau Foucardi was not of the typical balloon uh, or cheater. Mm -hmm. I have uh, been allowed to take my own power measurement apparatus here and to ma make it uh, independently. I have taken just to check one, uh, uh, one very simple digital thermometer to have an idea, to, to check if uh, the order of magnitude, the, the number, if the numbers that we are, we are reading, we are making sense. There was a check of the, the steam made by a qualified chemist. And uh, so... His name? Uh, this Galantini. Okay. Mm. I presume that every uh, when you do this kind of measurement, uh, if there is someone that is expert in uh, one field in one type of measurement, I will let uh, do that measurement to him, so that uh, I'm sure of the result. We have done also this technical test of 18 hours. We were almost sleeping here. Then, uh, and uh, in that case, we were not producing steam. And the apparatus uh, went going on. I have the data, but uh, uh, the apparatus went going on working for 18 hours yeah. without any hydrogen in it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I the, the bottle you. was disconnected. Yeah. I, I want to ask you about that. Let me see if there's... I, I wanted to I have the 18 hour test to talk about um, so n now um, so you knew about it for three years and then December comes and why why you you you, you had the inspiration you wanted to know for yourself uh... well I would say that this is one of my work duties imagine you are a police detective and you heard about uh, some facts going on, you must go and look by yourself. Is it? It would be simpler and would be, I would say safer for me just to say oh, oh no it's it's not it's not working. Let me let me put a different microphone on you. Why you wanted to go in January December? Uh, so, very simple. It is one of my duties. I'm a, I'm a researcher. I'm, pub, I'm paid by public money. So, I was knowing that this is a, something very important was going on. Something very important was going on with also the name of the University of Bologna on it. So, it but is... Wait, a, wait, wait, wait. At that time, it was already with the name, oh, because Focardi. Because Focardi, I mean, Focardi. And so it was my duty 
to know if it was something real or not. Because if it is something real, we must make research on it. If it not, it would be this, the University of Bologna to say that this, that this thing is not real. I, uh, I would not let uh, somebody else to say, okay, this is, uh, is not real. But apart from duty, there was also that a very, very strong interest. Because if, oh, here is Daniele Passarini. Uh, if there was something going on, then my friend, it's just me and him, please. Or, no, please, it's just... Please, please. thank you. Okay. No, it's so it's, secret. I don't, I don't want it, it's, it's, not, so, it it's, not a, it's not a performance, it's just doing it. Oh, okay. I mean, you can uh, imagine, if there is something going on, maybe some, let uh, me uh, some new physics, but I, as new physics, uh, I would say not something new basic law. Not, n there is not a new quantum mechanics, uh, but some new phenomena are uh, new, not known phenomena are in it. So, is again my strong interest and also my duty to investigate it. And because this has been developed not in a university, not in a research environment, but in an industrial environment. I must respect also, as I can, the limits that are imposed by industrial environment. And uh, so then you saw the first, your first test. You did a first test just by yourself in December. Yeah. And what was your reaction after seeing the first test? I was feeling, uh, as somebody that has arrived in a new island, hmm? imagine you, you are traveling in a boat, then you see an island that was not in the map, and you just travel it, and you are walking in, in a new island, and the island is com almost completely not known. And uh, you want to tell it to everybody, and uh, then you go back and say, oh, look, I was traveling in the sea, and about this coordinates, there is a new island. And of course, there you will have people saying, look, in the maps, there is not an island there. You have mistaken, you, you were in the wrong position, yeah, and so on. I was quite sure of what I have seen. Uh, oh, oh, already in, in December. Already, already in December. Already in December, uh, there were, uh, it was about a one-hour test. But you know, I had first I had seen already the data from Focardi in three years. And I was always wondering why to make it a cheat. I mean, 